Mm -hmm. Like, look outside. Hold on. Yes. There, but it really can look very differently, and there's different states, so it can be very slow motor activity. Or it can be the opposite. It can be hyperactive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nice out here, though. Look at that tree, but my allergies won't let me get too close to it. Thank you for helping us out, Jackie. Yeah, you're welcome. I morning guys so today is day two of the med surge rotation and um like i stated before in the last video i won't be able to record on that particular floor only because of um the patient's privacy and hipaa and you know when you're in healthcare field you can't um be doing that um so i'm going to try to get as much footage as i can on the things that i can if not, I'll just at least tell you guys how it went. And uh, yeah, so I will talk to you guys throughout the day. Okay, peace. I mean, 15 minute break. Waiting for one of my uh, coworkers to come from out the bathroom. <laughs> right now I'm just doing some modules um, for the time being, and then I'm gonna help out on the floor and probably do like some patient care. Just hop out because I don't got much staff to cover um, the floor when it comes to like text. So I'm going to help out and be a team player. And then I'll be back tomorrow to do actual, like my first day actually being a nurse on the floor. But I'm going to be with my preceptor. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'll let you guys know how the day went though, like later after I'm done with more of my modules. Can't wait to be done with these. I think I have like six more left, I think. So yeah. So I'm finally leaving, but um, next week is nurses week. So shout out to all the nurses out there. Um, we're gonna be doing like a spirit week theme. So each day we got to like dress up in a certain way. And um, I think for most of the week I'll be here for some of it. But um, yeah, the rotation was good. Um, it's just sad that the patient wasn't in the best um, shape. And um, we basically did his trait care, um, peg tube, he had a rectum to a Foley. He was on air, but I never dealt with a patient that just um, uses air. It's like the yellow outlet on the wall um, instead of oxygen. So I like never dealt with anyone like that. 
Hi. Good. So that's what um, we did with him today. And we basically did, like discussed why he's here, which I'm not going to say why. Um, and um, it was a sad, 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 sad. But uh, I'm glad I got to experience that. Walking through the library. Um, it's the library. I'm glad I got to experience that though. And you know, the people that were in my group, um, a lot of them had questions because some people really don't know this field yet. And um, so there's a lot of questions were asked as well. Hey, Claire Bear. So right now, I'm scheduling myself. I'm like doing self-scheduling because um, my unit do self-scheduling. We schedule our own schedules three months in advance. So right now, I have to put myself down for mess surge registry session. There's more mess surge to do, but it's like in a time span, so now I have to put that on my schedule. Um... So, there'll be more message videos coming up soon. Okay, I gotta push down. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Just scheduling message, emergency again. There's other dates. And there's a cardiac uh, rotation coming up, too. Ship that day. Oh, that would actually be perfect then. Because then I'll have this whole week off. email her back. I can rotate. Um, Yeah. 
that's a lot to do. Then I so I'm wearing my figs today, my onesies. This is navy blue, and this is, of course, blue, my favorite color in the whole wide world. I love this color. And also, it's my uh, birthstone sapphire, which is September. So that's why it's always good to get an insight on what we actually do instead of, like, putting a judgment on it because of things that people heard. So one of the ladies was basically saying like her classmate in nursing school got killed by a psych patient. But let me give you guys a little rundown of my floor. My floor is med surge psych, which people come get treatment. Um, we got patients that um, can't go to a nursing home because some nursing homes won't accept them. And yes, we do get some psych patients with behavioral issues, but sometimes they will come with like a share from a psychiatric center and they have to come to us for treatment because whatever the facility can't do we have to do it um then we have uh, and then when they do come they come with the sheriff and a babysitter or a gps um we got people that got alcohol issues um liver issues things like that where sometimes it's not even about them being psych. It's just certain things that they can't get treated in other areas, um, in the hospital or so. We get ICU patients sometimes. We get blood transfusion patients sometimes. Yes, we have behavioral um, patients, but not to the point where we can't, like, work in, on our unit, like we're scared or something. Now, there's units above us that's... <laughs> The units ahead upstairs is just, mm -mm. now those are the ones where uh, they can actually um, say, okay, this is a real psych page on psych floor. They got like uh, bars, not bars, but like glass, plastic, plaster, uh, window type things. You know what I'm saying? But our floor don't. We have an open desk where patients come talk to us and we are fine. Now the ones upstairs, that's a different situation. So also on my floor, um, we get tower calls. And tower calls sometimes sound like the bathroom light, but it's not. A tower call basically is when um, some of the staff from each floor in psych has to run upstairs to help with a situation with a behavioral patient. But we barely get towers on our floor. That's what I'm trying to explain and get for you guys to understand that psych is not what everybody think it is because it's not. So, yeah. I used to be the type that had like, like was part of the stereotype where like, oh, I will never work in psych. They're crazy. I'm thinking like they were in white gowns and straight jackets, walking around talking to themselves, walking up to a window and taking a paper, a little cup and taking a medication and all that stuff. So, um, I'm just happy that um, I got to see certain things because my perspective on life now is a little different as being a nurse versus being a tech. Now, even with me being a tech, I still have my impact side, but when you are a nurse and you actually go deeper into like getting to know the patient because you have to do like assessments and gotta read their chart a little differently versus when you are a tech, you kind of sympathize with a lot of them because we don't know how they got like that. You never know, like, they might have just been a normal walking person, just walking around living life, and one day just something traumatic happened to them, or they had a childhood that was traumatic. Like, in life, you have to really be humble and appreciate how your life is, because it could be worse. And um, that's why I don't judge no one's situation no more, because I don't know. I could be with my coworkers at work. And they may be going through something. They may be taking medication for depression or just anything, and we will never know. So that's why, you know, I see life a little differently now. And I can't really complain. Why complain when it could be worse, you know? 
But yeah, so um, like I said, I got more rotations to come, and of course, I'll take you guys along with me on that. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you in my next one. Peace. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, today was my first day on the floor being a nurse. I got um, trained today by my preceptor. It went good though. It went amazing. I did like BGs today, wound care. Um. I had learned a lot about the IVs today. Um, I got to take an IV out, which is very simple, but I was so happy to do that. Um, I learned a lot about like the pixels and how to work that, even though um, it wasn't hard. But there's just certain things that you all know about when it comes to like certain like substance control medications. They have like this big message that comes up and let you know, like, you know, you're getting a controlled substance. You're sure that you want to take it out and stuff like that. But um, eventually I will give you guys like a little tour around um, the med room. Just certain things I can't show you, of course, because of um, the patient's identity and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I, I'll, I'll do what I can do, guys. But I just want to let you guys know that I did get um, on the floor. Um, training today and i'm happy and i will be doing it tomorrow but i have sunday off but um like i said i'm gonna start doing things differently on my channel and um when it happens you will see why i'm making changes because um i'm just ready to make changes on my channel so just be tuned in for that okay all right finally i'm gonna say again peace guys until next time